Uh, question number three this week comes from Jonathan Moss, and Jonathan says, uh, Why didn't we ever get Lego games for Rogue One, The Last Jedi, and Solo? The game for The Force Awakens was absolutely amazing, and I feel like the films since then would have lent themselves well to being told in that format. What do you think? Keep doing what you're doing. Thanks for the question, Jonathan. And that's a really great question because I've often wondered the same thing. Why didn't we get any Lego games after Force Awakens? You know, they're, they've been doing these other games. They've been doing the DC villains. They've been doing Incredibles. They've got this whole other slate of games they've been doing. We never got another Star Wars game. And, and you're right. Lego The Force Awakens was the best Lego game they've ever done, bar none, in my opinion. I, I've played so many of them. It's insane. And I've been playing them since the beginning, since the first Star Wars. Their first Lego game was Star Wars. So I've been playing it since then, and that was by far the absolute best one. I 100 percented that thing in like a week week and a half two weeks something like that and uh yeah no I, i'm really curious why they never did it because to be honest i don't know they I, I i have no idea that, that you've stumped me <laughs> I, I unless it has something to do with licensing for video games you know going to ea but they were doing battlefront before the force awakens lego game came out so it's a great question i have no idea um but i would have really liked to see a lego game of rogue one and I think Solo would have been a good one. But look, as much as I like The Last Jedi, because I'm one of those people, you can lynch me for it, let me have it. As much as I like Last Jedi, that movie would not have, in my opinion, would not have lent itself very well to a Lego game. I, I don't think... Not enough happened in it. You know, not, don't get me wrong. I, I did like Last Jedi, but not enough happened in it that you could make, you know, eight or nine good, solid Lego environment levels out of. There's just not, you know, even with the story, you, you know, I, Crate would have been a vehicle m mission, obviously, you know, and then would have went into a, a, a character mission, you know, but it's just, what would, what would the levels be on Oct 2? What would they be on Canto Bight? What would they be, you know, on, on the starships being chased? Like, there's, there's nothing that those levels could have been. The only level that would have made any sense would have been Ray and Kylo fighting the Praetorian Guards. So I don't think 8 would have really lent itself very well unless it added a bunch of new content to itself, kind of the way Force Awakens did with its DLC. Because, you know, the Force Awakens LEGO game told the story of 3PO getting his red arm better than what the comic did. So there's a lot they could have done with LEGO games with Star Wars. But yeah, I, I think Rogue One would have been a great one. And I think Solo would have been a good one. I just, I don't think Last Jedi lent itself very well to being a LEGO game, but I could be wrong. They might come out tomorrow and announce that they're doing a trilogy of those three games for all I know. So, uh, but yeah, no, it's, it's, it's a really good question because the force awakens was a really good Lego game, but, uh, I'm just going to chalk it up as to they're really busy doing other games at this point or the video game license got, you know, there was an issue with them releasing the game and, and, and whatnot. It's just, I, I, I it's a good, it's a great question. It's, it really is. I think you've kind of stumped me on that one. So I'm sorry. I can't answer it fully, but, that's a really good question. So thanks for sending it in, though. Uh, once in a while, I need somebody to make me think because I don't think a whole lot. Uh, thanks for the question, Jonathan.